Hello students, welcome to Educil. In this video, we are going to discuss about Bellman Ford algorithm. So it's a dynamic approach problem or algorithm you can say. Those who are uh, new to this video, kindly watch the dynamic programming introduction as well as other stuff which I have already uploaded. In Bellman Ford, we will be doing the uh, thing which we uh, recently done in a digester algorithm. So here, this approach is quite different where we'll be using uh, like when we are doing the relaxation that time we'll be finding out the number of you know times we will uh, iterative process we will be doing to check whether there is any problem or not so the basic aim is to find the negative weight cycle okay so the basic aim of using the Bellman Ford is to detect whether there is a negative cycle or not. You may ask, sir, whether negative cycle will affect the graph or not. So I must say, in some cases, it affects a where then. Whenever you are finding the distance, okay, that you know, uh, it's basically Bellman Ford is a single source shortest path, means the source is single. You started uh, the source might be you started a journey from your home might be within uh, the destination whatever the destination you have selected the source should be finite like uh, the source should be fixed okay and the destinations or might be the destination which you have fixed within that there might be many uh, you know uh, different uh, squares or might be different locations so that you can uh, visit not an issue but the distance will be from your home to other uh, you know you can say other uh, locations where it might be uh, in between the destination which you have fixed so uh bellman hood here we are focusing on single source or test path but some iterative process we will be using the main aim is to detect the negative weight cycle and negative weight cycle affect if the distance we said it's sub suppose the distance from one place to another place is somehow we said it's one kilometer that should not be zero or that should not be anything else okay that is why we should say some fixed distance why because we know we have already studied this one uh, uh, in the graph portion that graph is basically using in a map okay a google map or any other maps that is getting integrated nowadays so we are basically working on the map okay basically we know if we'll start our uh, journey from one place to another place uh, it will help us why because tree and graph there will be a basic difference in tree there should not be any connect uh, there should not be any cycle present but graph cycle could be exist if negative weight cycle so definitely the distance uh, which we covered or which we might be interested for covering so there might be a problem in distance okay that is what the problem is when in real life definitely we can say no negative uh, you know no negative uh, distance is there but in such place like whenever we will be applying uh, in future like there are machine learning approaches or uh, there are uh, you, you can say some uh, you know uh, some pixels if you measure when you are uh, doing the research in image processing that time might be some uh, work that we will be finding in GNN graph neural network there might be it helps us in future but these are the theme that we should know before reading the Bellman Ford algorithm. Okay, now let us start. So, uh, as I told you, I am collecting the information always from two different books. One is uh, the book named Introduction to Algorithm, written by Corman and other co authors. Another book is I am following, which is written by uh, Tados and other co author. Okay, so here this information I have collected from Corman book. As for this, uh, this Bellman Ford algorithm. Here G stands for the graph, W stands for the weight, A stands for the source. The source is single that we know we started from a single source. Uh, then it says the first one it said the initialize single source means we should initialize which one to be picked first. Anyone could be picked first but that should be uh, uh, you know, properly made, uh, being measured or properly being, uh, you can say, uh, valued. So to say the ACs are source and within that 
the uh, within the graph g so what we have to do we have to just introduce small v that it it this g of v or g dot v represents all the vertices the number of vertices present inside the g means within the graph suppose there are uh, four vertices we can say four will uh, will run for uh, uh, till like four vertices it has like it will be starting from i equal to one to four okay this is what a representation of pseudo code in the book so what we have to do d stands for the distance okay d stands for the distance pi stands for the predecessors means uh, whether we collect like we, we reached somewhere so suppose you can say <clears throat> you started the journey from a to b and the c is your destination this is your source this is your destination so in this way uh, if i'll be uh, at b i must say the pi will be this one means this is predecessors where i came from i came from a okay this is the predecessors so predecessor is nil why because we started from a location where no uh, out degree is connected you can say in that way no out degree uh, sorry uh, no in degree towards this uh, uh, vertex okay means the in degree is zero here the in degree is one here the in degree is one means towards the arrow is there means some predecessor is there here predecessors is con considered as nil but uh, we can say when we will change it the predecessor value will change and then this d d stands for distance we should say the initially we should put zero others are considered as infinite this was suggest it will run for big of n time why because this for loop because of this for loop it is running for n plus one which is n in theoretically we can say now uh, those who are new kindly check the video which is there in digester algorithm it we also talked in detail about it next for loop is running which is portion we added here we are simply uh, doing the relaxation in uh, digester algorithm uh, where in digester algorithm our main theme is to detect whether there is a negative uh, you know weight or negative uh, edge assigned to any vertices or not that time it failed so here we need to find or we need to detect a negative cycle a negative weighted cycle you can say so for run for 1 to g dot v minus 1 means if there are four vertices we need to run for three times to check or to verify or to go for the relaxation so within that a for loop is also written where up to the number of edges if the number of edges are uh, suppose let us take five edges so it will be relaxing for the five edges basically we are relaxing the edges and we are, are, are writing the answer in the vortex so don't worry i kept the same example written in the book we'll be discussing that one here but we should know the steps and procedures for it next the relax relax the formula it is written here so if distance of uh, you know v v and u are two different things are being introduced here so v is uh, you can say v is a destination for us for a time being destination and u is our source i know i told you s is a source but somehow when we change it with within the loop we'll be running to go for uh, run, running for you know relaxation of those edges so that time we uh, we say u is our source uh, for some time and v is a destination for some time and w is wet as we discussed okay or the distance you can say but the distance always you remember suppose you started from a to b and here the weight assigned is 2 so uh, as per the rule or as per the initialization we say we started from this source is 0 and we put infinity for the first time which is this one next we need to run for 1 to uh, v minus 1 so here uh, v uh, is said to be the number of vertices are 2 2 minus 1 so we need to run for one time only okay next for each edges one edge is there so we need to run for one time we need to run for one time here and relaxation what we have to do here the uh, u we will be considering u this one and v this one okay small v so here the d v represents infinity 
Why? Because the distance here is infinity. Uh, in, in the book, the vortex written outside of this one and the value present inside this one. So it represents the distance is written within the node. You must write it because this is a book that we are following. Okay. Uh, so that's why we should follow the same theme. Here when uh, we will be having like dv, previously it was infinity. Now we should say the relaxation will be done if the value here is greater than the cost here. So I, I must write as per this one infinity d of v is now infinity clear infinity whether it is greater than uh, the distance u d means the distance of the initial one which is 0 plus w u v means the weight assigned to this edge u v edge so this is the u v edge is 2 okay now we should say whether it is right or not so infinity is whether it is greater than 2 or not yes we know or we know infinity is definitely greater than 2 if yes, so this infinity value will be converted as 2 and the predecessor will be uh, which we decide which we talked recently the predecessor will be from where you got the cost or the low cost you got okay so low, lowest cost you got from this you that's why the predecessor of it is now, now you are at your so it will be converted to 2 why because infinity is greater than that and we know we in if condition it satisfies though if condition satisfy now v of d would be the combination of this is 0 this is 2 now 0 plus 2 will be 2 so it is 2 now okay and uh, the distance is updated now I have updated this instead of infinite this is 2 but the, the predecessor which we recently discussed like previously where we come came from so that will be updated as u uh, we need to know the predecessors because this predecessor will help us the a's if we'll make the a's as bold now we should say from this to that direction we got this value okay this is how we completed with the relaxation procedure but whether it is correct for our algorithm or our aim in that case we have to just think of like we need to run again a loop which will run for the number of edges okay the number of edges could be uh, how many times that you just focus on like there is only one a so you can run for one time you need to check whether whether it is greater than the uh, value which is there or not like uh, v d d v is right now uh, sorry the v of d or distance of v is right now this one so here in this case u d is 0 plus 2 if this so what we have to write uh, it should be better we should write it clearly like uh, equal to sign which will be set okay which will be definitely equal to sign if we'll be writing so in this case we will be writing false if yes if we know this condition is not satisfied so we should say a written true like we will be stopping here and we will be going outside of this for loop and we should say true clear if in such case suppose you found some value which is greater than suppose instead of 2 you got suppose 3 in this case it returns false false means negative wet cycle negative wet cycle detected so negative weight cycle is detected if you got false so negative weight cycle is detected if you got true so no negative weight cycle no negative weight cycle clear so our main target is to check whether the areas or negative weight cycle exists or not so in basis of that we should focus with this uh, answer and here as per uh, the complexity i must change the color now uh, we will be discussing the complexity uh, after that first we'll consider uh, the you know theme of it then we'll be discussing the complexity of it
Now, as per the step one, uh, we have selected source as zero and others are infinity. That recently we discussed this one. Next, from source, the immediate uh, uh, or the the you know the edges attached there will be working on it. Here, once the edge which is there, uh, let us say this is u and this is v for us. So dv is uh, vd or you can say the distance of v if it is greater than the distance of u plus weight assigned to u comma v here it is infinity it is greater than 6 plus 0 so infinity is greater than 6 then update 6 there it will be updated here it is updated and this represents the predecessors where we got the value this is predecessor clear that is why it is uh, important for us now we updated that one same case we will be updating like it was previously infinity infinity is greater than 0 means uh, or you can say 7 which is the d of uh, u of d is 0 plus the weight assigned is 7 so we know infinity is greater than 7 so we must write the value here as 7 clear so here it is there and we got a pi value this pi represents the age which you have selected a predecessor basically we are talking about now in case of 6 we have to check we have to first check and we will keep those predecessors which is uh, you know you can say lowest for us clear so in uh, here in the book it is clearly mentioned that the ABC which is written it's not uh, you know it, it just uh, the, uh, they might be hiding with the other uh, steps so here we'll be discussing that one when we'll be having T and Y is getting relaxed now so we'll be checking from T whether there is any other edges connected or not so here there are uh, 1 and 2 3 there are 3 edges connected so in this age we have to check whether in exam also you must write it if you are attending semester exam you must write each and every step clearly at least you run uh, one iteration properly second iteration also you just run properly third fourth what the number of uh, you know uh, uh, vertices are one two three four five so five minus one the number of iterations will be four four number of iteration you have to run this is first iteration first step we are running clear so there are also uh, four number of iterations we have to run so in this case suppose this question uh, uh, came in the exam you please remember only first two steps you at least try to complete first two iterations uh, first two iterations once you complete well then you write uh, uh, in uh, in a proper way like there is no such negative weight cycle detected this is how you will be getting pro full marks in your semester exam. And those who are planning for the competitive exams, just focus on the tricks. Okay, here also we will be discussing how the tricks in uh, problem solving videos. Here, this is a detailed video, we should know it well. That is where the detailed video is dedicated to. So, in this case, we know uh, previously it was 7. This is u now, and this is v. If I select this one, so if I select this one, so I'll I must, might be writing this is u and this is v for us. So v d whether it is greater than with the u dot d plus w u comma v that we have to check. v d is you know it's 7 so you must write it is 7 greater than this is 6 plus this is 8. So 7 is not greater than 14. So we are not going to relax. Means we are not going to relax the uh, or update the value. So this is now discarded. Clear? Because of this reason. Now we will be selecting the other values. Like it is connected with uh, two different edges. One is minus four, another is five. In general, uh, those who are planning for the trick, I must say, out of these three edges, which one is uh, greatly negative? Like you know, if there are minus one, minus two, and minus three, there are three different edges. 
you should pick minus 3 first for the trick I'm saying okay so uh, which will give you immediate a result immediate reflect because we know negative red cycle is not running so that's why we should focus on the maximum negative which the the you know uh, A's is having or which is a connected as basically in this case here this is considered as V for us and we should say U to V uh, V D is whether it is greater than U D plus W u comma v or not uh, in this case infinity is greater than 6 6 plus this is minus 4 okay this is minus 4 so in this case we must say infinity is greater than 2 whether it is correct or not we know it's correct if it is then we should update this value there we'll cut this value and we'll be updating this value as 2 clear now now our next target is I'm just keeping this area as V dot D is greater than U dot D W U comma V so here uh, we selected this position this this path is getting selected now because we got a value which is getting updated now next this value we will be selecting where this is our v for a timing and this is our u now for this dv is infinity whether it is greater than uh, the this one is 6 plus the cost attached to it is 5 so infinity is greater than 11 we must update the value here as 11 okay now we must update the value as 11 there now we must write this we have selected okay here it is also being explored earlier you say this is u for or this is source for us here there are only two uh, different uh, you know edges are being attached so as per this two different edges this the value is minus 3 and here the man uh, value is 9 okay 9 and minus 3 if you say this is v for you so in this case we must write t of v is 2 greater than this d u of d is 7 plus this is the cost which is 9 so whether 2 is 16 or not we must say it is not uh, uh, greater than the 2 is not greater than 16 so no need to uh, relax it okay so we are not going to relax it because the value is smaller now we will reject this one okay now other one is there which we will be selecting as v there we will be writing d of v means previously the value was this one and it is 7 uh, minus 3 minus 3 is the cost attached to here clear so here we can find whether 11 is greater than 4 or not yes it is greater than 4 so you cut this one and put a 4 and you got this one and previous previously predecessor was t now the predecessor is changed to this one clear and we have selected this as this is how we got the answer i have it is clearly understood to you now you can check whether it is clearly understood in C or not. Here we got this value due to this predecessor and we got this value due to this predecessor. Clear? Now, uh, the next step, once we got these two options, from these two options, we have, like suppose this is our U. So in this case, we have two connected edges. We know single source artist path. So if you connected with the sources, we will never take that one because it's single source attachment. Whenever you start it, the single source should be started with a zero. That's why we are not considering that one. Okay. Though it is connected to anywhere, we are trying to ignore that one. This will be uh, being considered in other approaches, in other algorithm. But still in Bellman food, we are not considering this one. Next. Now we should reject it. If I'll put this one. So this is our V for a timing. 
for this case so v d v means the distance whether it is greater than 2 plus 7 4 is greater than 9 or not no it is not greater than this so we will stop relaxing that one okay now uh, we explode this one and we are now saying this is u for us and from this only one edge is connected which is 2 you can say from this only one edge is connected so here in this case we must say 4 whether it is greater than dv was previously 6 it is u and this is v with d u d is 6 dv is 6 here this is v then this is 4 minus 2 whether you are getting the value 6 is greater than 2 or not yes so you update the value you update the value to I'm just writing this one V update the value to 2 here we got the correct answer as 2 clear next these are being explored well now we have to run for once it is done so we have explored all the edges all all the edges are connected to it now we have to do one more uh, you know this this completes uh, one iteration okay one iteration has been completed now we have to go for how many iterations you can say for we started with here for 1 2 v the number of vertices are 1 2 3 4 5 5 vertices 5 minus 1 so here you can say this for loop could be written as 1 2 4 means 4 number of iterations you should have to run it to check whether there is a negative weight cycle how do you know if the value which you got if some changes are being absorbed then only you can say there is a negative weight cycle attached so you must write the uh, first first iteration is completed next you run the second iteration from this end also you can check like you started from zero uh, so uh, whether it is correct with this one or not yes you are getting seven uh, then uh, from seven the way with whatever the predecessors that you have please check with that one that, that it would be very much clear enough so uh, from seven if you'll be running a seven to nine, uh, seven plus nine so it is greater than the previously updated value which is being uh, found by us so that we are not going to change and here if we'll be changing with this this will never change and it will be correct so in this way we can run for four times and the end it is written like the number of ages basically the uh, we will be focusing on uh, that we are running for v minus 1 but ultimately to check the negative weight cycle we should run for v times this is what we should uh, be thinking of like we are running for v minus 1 time to update or to go for the relaxation for, for going for the relaxation we are running for this one but to detect the negative cycle exist or not we should run for one more time which is indirectly we are running for the v times so in that case what exactly we are finding we have to check whether any value any any value is greater than this or not recently we studied this one so in this case uh, you know we, we are taking two different uh, vertices in this case what we found like 2 is greater than 0 plus 2 here we know 2 is greater than 2 it's it's false if it is correct then we should say written false written false means negative weight cycle de is detected so we know it's false so if it is false so we should say for loop ended and we uh, out we are outside of this for loop and we should say written true true means we should say uh, no negative weight cycle is detected or no negative cycle is there okay this is how we are being working so if you say whether negative weight cycle affects or not i'm just uh, giving one more example here there are three different uh, you can say vertices i i have taken where one two here is minus three so we can say there is a negative a cycle first we will be checking whether there is a cycle formed or not when do we say there is a negative weight cycle or not if if all are you just add everything to minus 3 here this is 0 so this is not considered as a negative weight cycle if i change it to 4 
minus 4 I must say is 3 minus 4 which is minus 1 though minus 1 we can say it's negative wetted cycle it's negative wetted cycle or negative weight cycle so negative weight cycle will be running for uh, how many times your one two three three vertices are there so we need to run for uh, three minus one which is two times for first time you should say it's zero I'm just changing the color uh, I'm running for the first time zero it's infinity it's infinity now so whenever we will be checking with the, this is u for a timing this is v so v of d whether it is greater than u of d plus w of u comma v so here it was previously infinity it was 0 plus 1 so 1 is definitely less than infinity so we will be updating this as 1 now now here in this case we found 2 clear so I must uh, being using one more value instead of this uh, like three uh, are there no not an issue but still we should be running with the different cycle which could be better for us to understand This could be a great sign that we will be adding uh, like here one two I'm keeping the same thing minus four if greater example will take so definitely will clarify a doubt okay so this is a cycle existing through that cycle we know it's negative now uh, you update this value as two because we recently updated this one so here uh, we explode like from here the connection is getting established there and then the two here is getting updated two plus two the previously it was infinity if i'll say this is u for us and this is a v for us so in this case we should say uh, infinity is greater than current cost is 2 and our weight assigned to is 2 then 4 so we must update this as 4 now say this is u and this is v for us so in this case we must say 4 minus 4 is 0 so once it is 0 we should update this infinity as 0 now this has been explored well okay so we have updated the values once the updated updation is done or once the relaxation is done we should say oh uh, like one iteration is completed so the number of iteration i must write the number of iterations now it is changed number of iterations number of you know let's say number of iterations could be 4 i equal to 1 to v minus 1 so here it could be indirectly written as 4 i will be running for the number of vertices are 1 2 3 4 5 so it is 5 minus 1 which is 4 so 1 to 4 
one is now completed now for second one I'm just changing the color here the second one I'm changing the color where we'll be checking whether there is an changing of the value or not plus w of u comma v now I'm changing the color so here once we are finding this one like 0 of 1 then 2 4 0 in this case once we are running for one more time we'll be changing I'll be checking with the value like 1 it's correct now no need to change it's correct now here it is correct now here it is correct once we'll be running here 0 with 1 the number of vertices will be running so in this case once we'll be running with a 1 one more step uh, in the step 1 I forgotten to write once we have updated with the, this value so this has to be updated this has to be relaxed this is so previously it was uh, 2 now we have to check whether 2 is greater than with 0 plus 1 or not we know 2 is greater than with 1 so we need to relax that to 1 okay this is what we have to do in the first step so the next step I change the color now so the first step uh, we have to check this is correct now 1 plus 2 is 3 3 this side and 1 this side so here no need to change this is correct next 1 plus 2 is uh, here dv uh, for this suppose it is u and this is v for us so dv is 4 now 1 plus 2 the cost is 2 and 1 is there 4 is greater than 3 or not here we found yes 4 is greater than 3 so you update the value is 3 now clear then what you have to do is like v is there this is considered as u for a timing though you this is source for us and this is the next vertex so here what we found so dv is currently 0 whether 0 is greater than the distance here is 3 and I must say it's minus 4 the weight assigned here 0 this is minus 1 we know 0 is greater than that so it is updated as minus 1 now next the A's we found is connected to C which is V for us now so we must write it the distance is 1 next distance here is minus 1 plus 1 the cost it is 1 so whether 1 is greater than 0 or not yes it is so then what we have to write 0 will be updated here now we ended with the second one first is completed second is completed now now I'm changing the color for third one because we need to run for four times to relax the uh, to relax the edges okay connected in in other uh, edges there in the graph okay now we have to check I'm just changing that one okay so now we started here I'm just writing 3 so it should be written as VD whether it is greater than UD plus W U comma V or not so it's 0 0 1 is 1 this is correct 1 plus 2 uh, 3 3 this side and 0 so definitely no need to relax because uh, that side is uh, you know 0 is not greater than this so this is also correct now what we have to do we have to check uh, previously it is u for us and it is v for us so within the cycle the number of uh, within the cycle what are the uh, vertices are there so those vertices you please concentrate so in that uh, vertices definitely some changes will be observed if the cycle is negative weight cycle so in this case what we found dv is 3 now and du is 0 plus this is u of d or distance of u and this is distance of v now cost attached here is 2 so whether 3 is greater than 2 or not yes if yes then you change the distance as the lowest distance okay now what you have to do is you change that 
u uh, you change the e as u and this is v for a time being so in this case what we found we have to check whether any updation could be possible or not so d of v is minus 1 for a time being next uh, this is your d of u 2 minus 4 minus 4 is this cost attached here now we found minus 1 this side and this is minus 2 we know minus 2 is less than minus 1 the less value will be updated now I'll discard this one and I'm just writing minus 2 there so one more edge is connected now instead of V this is considered as U and this is considered as a V now so in this case DV is considered 0 here it was 2 plus 1 so we know 0 is greater than minus 1 though minus 1 you should change the value to 0 to minus 1 here and this is how we updated the value and we completed the third iteration now we should run for fourth iteration for fourth iteration I'm just changing the color fourth iteration distance of v should be greater than equal to distance of u if it be there so we will relax or we will stop now we will be checking with this this is correct for this 1 plus 2 reverse it is minus 1 no need to relax this is also correct for this case uh, this is u for a timing and this is v for a timing now uh, for distance of v is 2 now distance of u is minus 1 plus 2 so here we found it is 1 so this is correct so you need to update as the lowest one which we found now we change it as u and we change this as our v for us next we have to check whether the v is minus 2 is greater than this d, uh, plus minus 4 so we know minus 3 is less than minus 2 so we need to relax it to minus 3 okay now one more is is attached there so here this is u for us and this is v for us now this side is uh, previously minus 1 this is minus 1 and this is minus 3 so minus 3 in place of that and 1 so minus 1 is greater than minus 2 we found so we need to update that the lowest one will be updated there okay this is how we found or we completed the checking of relaxation now uh, to check whether there is a negative weight cycle or not we need to run for one more time whenever we will be running for one more time there we found a problem or not that we will be checking I am just changing the color now so in this case what we have to just consider I am changing the color so we know if distance of V is greater than of distance of d plus uh, v uh, this they, if this happened so what we have to do we will be saying yes definitely there is a problem which we uh, we absorbed so here see uh, you will be running for five times this five is for checking checking of negative weighted cycle or uh, you can say detection of negative weight cycle clear so in this case what we have to find so in uh, 0 plus 1 is 1 is correct so here 1 plus 2 previously it was minus 2 so minus 2 is not greater than 3 so no need to relax this one if this happened we need to relax clear so as per our rule it is there it is written if this happened so we must say return false means negative weight cycle detected so as for the bellman ford algorithm okay now in this case uh, we are now at 
this is our u and this is our v so in this case one is there clear and whether we will be having minus 2 plus 2 so we know one is greater than zero means it is clearly suggesting us it's true if true in fifth means previously we need to run for v minus 1 and in for v time we are needing to checking it so we found negative weight cycle detected here so no need to running further uh, uh, to complete all the edges you can stop here uh, when you are just uh, writing the uh, writing in the exam to reduce the time uh, you know that time you must say it's it also changing the value to uh, zero so here which said us there is a problem then zero minus four which is minus four it might be changing to minus four now it might be changing to minus three so these changes these changes will exactly said us there is a problem or there is a negative weight cycle detected so i'm just writing this in a circle so where it said negative weight cycle detected this said negative weight cycle weight cycle detected okay this is how we are detecting whether there is a negative weight cycle exists or not and this is our aim exactly to find or to detect the negative weight cycle now we should focus on the time complexity i'm just changing the color here the time complexity we recently discussed this is for loop so this is big of n and only if condition is written either yes or no like true or false so definitely it is taking one time so here it is running for big of n like as for this algorithm we should say this one and this is running for up to v minus 1 v minus 1 so it is within the inner loop is running for e times so we must write e into e into v minus 1 time okay because it is inside the inner loop next relaxation you have to do relaxation is running for big of 1 time into multiplied with this value clear okay? so because this is within a inner loop next this is running for big of e time i must be writing big o notation here big o this is big o if this is the worst time complexity we should be uh, taking care of so big o this is big of e big of e or sometimes we are using the mod then this is big of 1 this is big of 1 big of 1 into big of e why because this is inside a loop okay so in total uh, if you are saying this is big of 1 so total time complexity could be big of e into v or v into e v into e if you have any doubt i am just running that one here so big of n which is indirectly said uh, as v basically big of v i am writing n because the number of vertices is considered as n so that is why i am just writing v you can simply write v also not an issue so this is v into e or sometimes we are running uh, we are saying it is the time complexity i must write on the above of it so time complexity would be big of v into big of e or sometimes we are uh, uh, saying it is big of n square if both are considered as n so two different 
edges might be n minus 1 it might be n minus 2 some some uh, constant could be decreed or some constant could be added in that case we should focus it is n square because if you add all these things so maximum we will be finding here only we go v into e minus e so minus e if you are just saying we go v into e means n square minus n if you are saying in that case n square is always greater than n okay if anything is uh, decreasing there so we will be saying the maximum value will be written in that case so this is how we are finding the bellman uh, fold or we are be doing the bellman fold by finding the negative weight cycle uh, inside the graph or not okay so i hope it is clearly understood by you so if any problem you're facing please comment below thank you for watching have a good day